DJ Kevin Cat was out of control, man. But hey, man, he was fun. He was fun, real interactive and shit like that. Kevin Cat was too much, man. We had a dope show at West Side yesterday, y'all. A real dope ass show. Now check it out. After that, what's so crazy was after that, you know, got a little bit of ends. I ain't got no crazy money or nothing like that. I didn't even make no money that night. <laughs> you know, that, that shit was all for everybody else. But afterwards, you know, I still felt good. G Money and I, this is where we're about to get to the first part of the story I was about to tell. But it was like, why tell that story when I could start off with the whole iced tea and the art of uh, rap, art of comedy, um, in association with fire and a whole um, comedy show. You know what I mean? We could have did that and then segue to the second part of me almost being fruit batted again because I lost my fucking teeth. Okay? So after the show, we need to go get some smoke. You know what? Let me let me let G Money tell the story from there and then I'm gonna take day two. I right, yo G Money, you're in. Okay. Um yeah, when we left the show, we were coming in. What's so funny? Why are you laughing? Yeah. <laughs> you're in. What do you want me to do? Okay, all right. Well, yeah, guys. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Your segue is awesome. Go yeah. ahead. Go ahead. Um, so, we were, yeah, we were leaving the show. We were fucking stoked about the show. <laughs> it went so well. Yes, we, we were. were. Stop laughing. Okay. Um, <laughs> and then... Um, yeah, we were going to pick up some some bud. Uh, we were going to pick up some bud. I don't know what you're talking about. We were going. We were, go, going, to, we're, we're going, going to get some our, oxygen. Our yeah, you said smoke. I don't know. Oh, um, uh, 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 yeah, because okay. it's smoky up there. Oh yeah, Smokey was on the show. Yeah, what you if if Joe the cadet was here right now, he would be looking at you like crazy, you, dude. You're giving them probable cause. Smoke a blunt on the show. <laughs> That's not weed that I smoke. <laughs> You see? You see? Everything is... Yeah! <laughs> nigga! The fuck are you trying to do? <laughs> hey, yo, anyway, tell your story, man. Yeah, all right. <laughs> um, and then we... Yeah, we made a stop, and then on our, our way out, we went and got fucking... Just something to drink from a store. Left, went towards the crib, stopped at the chicken place before we went to the crib, and then you're coming out with your chicken, and you realize that you don't have your teeth. And we're fucking looking through the car, and you're like, bro, I just, you said you had him in between your legs in the car, which now, now we know probably wasn't, wasn't, was an illusion. All right. All right. Well, well that, that was a good take. That uh-huh. was a definitely a, a witness perspective. Uh-huh. If you were telling the police of what happened, that that's a good witness state. But you see, I just want to let y'all know it's the difference between the way white people tell a story and the way black people tell a story. Now I'm about to tell that same story, y'all. <laughs> And watch how more flavorful this shit tastes. Watch this. All right, y'all. So check it out. Yeah. <laughs> we, 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 we out of control about the show. G Money looking at me with that look like, yo, whew, yeah, yo, t- we made that show out, bitch. And I'm like, yo, my nigga, no motherfucking doubt. So, you know, we, we we ecstatic driving up, you know, going to get some broccoli, some vegetables and shit like that. And um, now all I want to do is get the broccoli and go and, and for us to start heading back to the motherfucking, to the honeycomb hideout. All right? We get the motherfucking ox, the, the broccoli. All right. 
after we get the motherfucking broccoli, we stop to get backwards? Yes. We go and get the motherfucking backwards. And let me tell you something, y'all. Never trust a big butt and a smile. That girl is poison. A bitch with a fat ass is the reason why my teeth got lost, y'all. I I took my teeth out, put those shits in the middle of my motherfucking lap. I and when I went to get out the car to get a closer look on of this fat ass and what what Shorty's face looked like, not that it matters, you know. Once you got a fat ass, nigga, anything else game. Yeah. You can have a fat ass and a nub. You can just have this, nigga. Nigga go fuck with you. You could be rubbing on niggas like this. Niggas go still fuck with you as long as you got a fat ass. So, I, I get out. I get the look, I'll get something to drink, get the look. But then I was just like, you know what? It was just a nice look. I'm keeping it pushing. There ain't nothing more, ain't nothing less. Nigga, I get in the motherfucking uh, car, we drive off, I'm rolling. You know, we blowing, we, we get to the motherfucking chicken shack. And I'm starting to get my shit together like, ah, right, this is going to be this, this is going to be that. And I'm like, yo, where the fuck are my teeth at? Yo, y'all. I knew. I fucking knew. I dropped my fucking teeth back there, dog. Because I'm doing the math in my head. I didn't get out the car since I left the motherfucking um, comedy spot. So... And I remember how I got out the car because I got a swollen, puffy foot. And G-Money got a puffy arm that we're about to bust open after the show. So I don't know. We're, we'll probably get some footage of that for you guys to put on the Patreon. I got some needles. I got We got some gauze, some peroxide, some um, purple alcohol. Um, we, we got um, antibiotics. We got some perks. Um, what else you need? I think that's it. You're you're the un- unlicensed doctor here. So. so we're gonna figure it out. But I and then afterwards, my foot so puffy. I think we might have to um pu- uh, pus take some pussy stuff out my foot too. From I don't know what's going on, but we injured over here. Donate y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Send us some money. So listen, motherfucking um. So I'm I'm in my head. Like, yo, damn, son. And I lost this shit up in Harlem somewhere. So so I'm like, damn, man. What the fuck is going on, yo? How I thought I had these shits. I could have sworn it was like... And the reason why I knew how I motherfucking dropped them there, I remember how I got out the car. I slid out. I didn't get out the motherfucking seat on some regular shit. I had to slide out because my foot was hurt. So if I'm sliding out, that means that my nuts is dragging my teeth out the motherfucking door and my teeth fucking went out onto the fucking street. When I went out, my nuts kicked them out. That's what happened. And I and I, my nosy ass, because of a fat butt, proceeded, didn't even hear no sound or nothing because I was so focused on her butt. Okay, and then I, when I went back, I'm still kind of focused on her butt, okay? And, and, and I'm just like, what the fuck? And then I get in the, the motherfucking, um, the, the car, and I'm just like, yo, let's just leave. I, you know, I don't want to get this bitch too much, but it was just a nice butt. I'm, I'm moving on. I'm not hollering. I ain't doing nothing extra. I ain't giving you that gratification, ma. So I, 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 so we push out. Now, we get home. Back to the honeycomb hideout. And we are going crazy. My whole energy, he he just saw it. He normally gives me the docile energy. Okay, well, save that. Remember I talked about docile energy, guys. Okay, um, and I, um, I was just like, you know what? 
I was just, what a day. I just came up from Boston. If you guys listen to the show, um, you know, from yesterday, you, you, you're going to hear it. You're going to hear what it is. You going to know what it is. The Patreon episode. Yeah, the Patreon episode. You know, you motherfuckers going to know what it is. Patreon.com slash fire in the hole. That's right. You niggas need to come on and join. Be a part of it. Okay. Docile energy. So I'm giving G money docile energy because my pieces is gone. So now I'm thinking about I got to get money to get this shit up. So, man, motherfucking G money. He had to work again today. It was a time and a half, though, day. Fucking Labor Day. That's right. You worked on Labor Day. Go ahead, Ricky Bobby. If you're not first, you're last. (laughs) So he comes, he comes, you know, back to the honeycomb after the motherfucking gig. And um, all day I'm in the bed depressed. Just thinking, doing the math in my head, like, where could my teeth be? Oh, where, oh, where can my teeth be? The we took it away from me. It's gone to heaven, so I got to be good. So I could meet my teeth one day. <laughs> so, I, so I'm doing the math in my head of where my teeth can be, but every way I did the equation, it came out to the same fucking solution at that area where the fat butt bitch was. So, G Muddy and I, we get ready to record this episode, and I go, yo, bro, we got to go back to this spot, and we got to go and see if my shit, if my shit's still there. They there, bro. This nigga started hitting me with the... He got two two modes. Straight docile energy, you know? All right, man, let's just do what we got to do, man. Let's just forget. And then he got the short, quick, fast energy. Yep, yeah. All right, man. Yep. Oh, yep. Yeah. All right, man. Yep. 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 All right, man. Yo, let's go. I'm like, oh, man. Here this shit go. This nigga don't even understand. He want this this episode out of me and I'm feeling some kind of way with the whole speculation of my teeth is still out there and I think I can find them so let's see we get the going he's you know he's he's quick driving pulling out this nigga, I have never seen him drive so fast to get to Harlem in our duration of knowing each other. The aggression that he was driving with was the aggression that I look for every time that <laughs> we're in a car. None of that whatsoever. So I just want to take a pause here, guys, and I want to ask G Money. At this point, G Money in the story. Uh-huh. What's going through your head? Well, like, I do, I I thought that your teeth might, I didn't think they'd be there today. I thought, like, it's someone was like, you know what, they probably hit that fucking store. That's the only place he got out of the car. But when you told me you wanted to go get them, I, I, do, I have fucking a shit ton of work to do still. I have a couple episodes to get out. And it's like, I'm like, fuck, man. But I know it's in your head. And I know that I'm like, if we try to tough this episode out, it's gonna be. He's gonna be thinking about that the whole time. So I'm like, all right, I'll take him to Harlem, take him there, just to appease him. Like, it fucking sucks, but like, 
that's I, he just has to see that they're not. All right, let's go. Go ahead, say then, say the words that they're what? not there. They're say not there. it. They weren't there. I didn't. No either. faith, no belief, no nothing, not, y'all. Not an, an ounce of it. And I've constantly shown this motherfucker the John Elway theory <laughs> of my life. I, go ahead. Go. On, on the way down the stairs, you're just like. This would be a total John Elway moment. And I'm like <laughs> a flight ahead of you still, like trying not to crack up. Like, fuck you, bro. Fuck you. <laughs> and then, yep. Sure enough. Hey, sure. yo, yo. John Elway. Yeah. I talk about it, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we pull up, we get to the location in Harlem. Yo, my people, family, listen to me, y'all. I'm looking to in the area where we were and where we were parked at. There's no signs of it. I'm disheartened. I'm broke. I'm just like, fuck it. Suck it up, Jim. This boy, he drove you out here. You got your confirmation. Just get your head right. Get ready to do this episode. I'm like, all right, man. I looked all around in areas that I didn't even think. And as I'm walking off, something told me to just look to the left on top of the motherfucking icebox. There was some weird fixture and figure there. And I got closer. G Money is hopping out the car as he's walking. I didn't even touch them yet. I got my fucking phone with my light on, pointing on it like, yo, G Money. Yo, come here, yo. <laughs> look at, yo, the look in his eyes was like, unfucking real Are you serious, bro? I wanted to cry so bad that I found <laughs> them. <laughs> and what was so crazy was G Money was holding me and consoling me on the corner of 135. Earth and fifth. <laughs> and Harlem is gentrified now. And let me tell you something, man. Muffins are out there. So <laughs> niggas probably thinking G Money and I are in love on the corner expressing ourselves. Nah, niggas. I found my teeth. You thought I was going to be out here fruit batting it? Fuck out of here, man. I ain't gonna lie, but that was a warm moment for me, man. Thank you for consoling me, dog. You did that. You're welcome. I wasn't even gonna get out of the car. I was waiting in there the whole time. I saw you looking around, and I'm like, all right, he's, it's time to go, man. They're not they're not there. And then literally, <laughs> like, as I'm walking up, you're, like, looking at the ice box, like, yo, look. I'm like, what? Like, no fucking way. Fucking unbelievable. And that means some, they were on the ground, too. So that means some shout out to the guy who picked them up. Or the woman. Or the shout out to the Because you know what? It probably, I, it probably it, was. It probably was a woman. That was a higher hierarchy arch, of thinking. All right? Ar, ha, am I saying that word right? I think so. Hierarchy? Yeah. Of thinking. For her to place them right there, I'm going to go with the woman. Mm-hmm. A nigga probably just put those shits in his pocket just because. <laughs> <laughs> what are you walking around with teeth for? You know? <laughs> Never know. I know. Especially in Harlem. <laughs> I found my fucking teeth, yo. 